All right, man, he's a great greasy. I hear at it one more time. It's pretty hot out here today. I got a 2004 Chevrolet 1500. Got the 53 in it. Changing out the starter. That's the old starter right there. I got the new one right there. One too bad. Now, see, the reason why I make a video is because I had some people, you know, I say, like, "Oh man, take out the tire. You can get to the to the uh, to the bolts connected to the cylinder." Man, just like every other starter, I took the bolt side of it, drop it down. It was so much easier. You're trying to go through there and loosen those bolts. You know, see, this is my first time doing this, so you know that's why I kind of looked it up on YouTube just to see what it was. I figured it couldn't be much to it, but that was kind of I felt kind of backwards trying it that way because you you got this little tight little gap. And you, your hands can't get through there. You ain't got too much to put a ratchet on there. It's just making you struggle for no reason when you could drop them two bolts, start a hang down. You see where the wire at? And hang down, take the wires off, hook them back up, throw it back up there. That was that was something I seen on YouTube. But uh, man, I, I recommend you try it this way, man. Well, I'm easy to get greasy, man. Just uh, give me y'all. Uh, my opinion on how to do it you know to each his own but this was a lot easier that way i even took the tire off and stuck my hand through there and tried it that way at first and i'm like man this was retarded took the boats out drop it then it's nothing thank you for watching